Yesterday I showed you the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge game launcher feature. And during that video I showed you there was an additional option in there called game tools. And that's what I'm going to show you today. To access the game tools, you can do it one of two different ways. If you already have game launcher enabled, you can access it right here through this button. If you don't, then you'll need to go into the settings application, scroll down to the advanced features option, tap on the games option, then game tools, and then you're going to see this toggle up here at the top. We also have this little information here that tells us the game tools provides us with some additional game features that are all hidden in a float button. And I'll show you that in a second. So we just enable it. And right here we have a record option. This will let you configure how big or how small you want the avatar icon to be. You can change the avatar icon to the front camera instead of just a single image. While you're recording, you can either record from the Galaxy S7's internal microphone, which is what it's set to by default. So you can add commentary over the game you're playing. Or you can choose to record the system sounds, which is the in-game sounds. Just know that if you select game audio, it will pick up anything like a ringtone or notification alert, anything that makes sound that way. Last features here will let you change the video quality from 1080p all the way down to 360. And you can change the audio bit rate from 6 megabits per second to 1. Once we have this enabled, we just need to launch a game. It doesn't have to be from the game launcher because we can have game tools enabled without the game launcher. But I'm just going to show you that from here. So if we launch Alto's Adventure, you can see at this, this corner we have a little floating button. This button will be here all the time, but if you're recording you won't see that button. You can move this button around. Every time you let it go, you'll see it slide to the, to the edge. To access these features, you just single tap on that floating button. And from here, we can tell the Galaxy S7 to not allow alerts to happen in the middle of a game. We can lock the recents and back keys so these do not take us out of the game. We can still press the home button, but these recent and backs buttons will no longer do anything, but only while the game is up and active. We have the ability to minimize the game, which as you can see will bring that game to another floating icon. This will keep the game running in the background so you can quickly get back to your game at any time. Then we have the screenshot option which will just take a screenshot quickly without having to fiddle with with buttons like you normally do for screenshots. We have the record button which will start recording audio. You can see here at the bottom, we get a timer that runs. And during this time, it's recording audio and video. When you're done recording your video session, you just tap on the avatar. It will save. And then you can find that video in your gallery. And then whenever you launch these settings, it will just take you 
to this same spot that you were at before, just in case you want to disable the feature. 